This is the Skoda Epic, which is a small electric SUV we didn't see coming, but will be here in 2025 with 250 miles of range. What's good guys, welcome back to Ron's Rise, welcome back to the channel, and welcome back to another video where Skoda intends to launch 6 EVs by 2026, and the most affordable of the bunch will be pretentiously named the Epic, which is scheduled to go on sale next year with a targeted starting price of 25,000 euros or roughly $27,000 at the current exchange rate. Now touted as being small but epic, the brand's entry-level EV will be among the first models to embrace the fresh, modern, solid design language. At around 4.1 meters, 161.4 inches long, you can think of it as an electric alternative to the Karmic. However, the subcompact Skoda Epic is destined to ride on a dedicated EV platform, likely the MEB entry the Volkswagen Group has already announced. Now the architecture has been previewed by the German automotive conglomerate with last year's ID2 concept. While VW is going with the hatchback route, well Skoda is cooking up this crossover. Now even though it's shorter than the Karmic I mentioned earlier, it's far more practical. The cargo capacity is 490 liters, 17.3 cubic feet, and it is more than 20% higher thanks to its dedicated EV underpinnings, resulting in a better packaging. Now the check marquee remains tight-lipped about what the other technical specifications are, but it does say that the unspecified battery pack is good for 249 miles, 400 kilometers of range, presumably in the WLTP cycle. Now the MEB entry platform is intended for EVs with front-wheel drive where areas the regular MEB is used for the bigger Enyaq and comes with rear-wheel drive. Now the more expensive and powerful MEB based models sold by the VW group come with all wheel drive by adding a front motor. It remains to be seen whether the MEB entry models will get an all pause setup at some point. Now the modern solid design language per Skoda's marketing jargon will toughen up the appearance of future models. This Epic has a plastic body cladding around the wheel arches and unpainted sections of the rear bumpers. We will also notice a pair of nifty roof rails, an illuminated rear badge and slim lights at both ends. Now the charging point is mounted on the front fender rather than on the back as is the case with the Enyaq. Contrasting orange accents are found inside and out along with an interrupted light bar that goes across the wide grille. Now overall, the Epic looks to be more along the lines of a near production prototype since it's unlikely to change all that much until 2025. Go to cause this a design study rather than a concept. So we just have to see what details actually make it to the production model. But what do you guys think about the Epic? Does it look epic? Is it something that will do well at that very low price point? Drop those comments down below. Now, if you guys did enjoy the video, make sure you guys give it a big thumbs up. Check the links in the description and subscribe to the channel, but click the notification bell so you don't miss one video. And we will see you guys in the next one. Peace.